<clears throat> Hello, Inspirational Way here. This is going to be my review for WWE Backlash. It won't be long because I uh, thought this was one of the worst pay views going. I happily admit that. Definitely one of the worst pay views going. Um, sorry if I don't sound positive in this video, but as I've explained in my streams, um, I am going through some very, very hard personal moment situation at the moment, so I can't. So I'm not going to say any more than that because I can't and I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, so let's just crack on with the video, I suppose. Then I'm sorry about the camera not being the best, it's a bit blurry, but it's um because I haven't really got much light in here because it's, it's dark. So, um, but anyway, we can crack on. Intercontinental Championship match, Seth Rollins versus The Miz. Um, Again, a decent match. Oh, well, not again, what I'm about. Decent-ish match. Probably one of the three decentest matches, and that's saying something, because I thought even the main events were rubbish, near enough. Um, but, yeah. So let's start. By... Miz, don't like him much. Never have. But he can put on matches. I suppose he can put on matches, and he does take pride in an intercontinental belt, even if he's not the champ when he's fighting for it, because he's got pride in it. Seth, one of my favourites, always put on good matches. And between the two of them, they put on a good show. Obviously, it's obvious Seth is going to win because they're not going to let the United States belt and Intercontinental belt be on SmackDown uh, or vice versa, both on Beyond and Raw. So it didn't surprise me Seth won, but apart from that, it was a decent match. Now, I dropped for a set to Bliss. Again, didn't think much of this. Barely, it, it was okay. Barely a match. It's basically Now, I just getting toyed. Toy him with Alexa Bliss. Am I surprised Nia Jax won? No, because there's rumours that uh, Ronda Rousey is going to take the belt off her, or um, there's rumours Ronda Rousey is going to take the belt off of her, or she's just going to keep the belt to WrestleMania. And she's only just got the belt, so I wouldn't expect them to take the belt off her straight away just like that, because it would make her look an absolute useless champion. And I don't think they want to do that, because I think they've been obviously pushing Nia Jax for. A good year now to get him as champ. So, um, to get her as champ, should I say, not him. Her as champ, so I don't think they're going to mess that up. So, apart from that, it was an okay match, nothing special. Uh, you like to say championship match, Jeff Hardy first Randy again, straight away, winner was obvious, Jeff Hardy was going to win, cause, like I said, been very with the belts. But apart from that, it was an okay match, nothing amazing, nothing special. Don't surprise me, Randy. Don't surprise me, Jeff. They both put on good matches. It was an okay match. Just overall, the show was nothing to be a wow about, and it wasn't even barely worth a pay per view, in my opinion. Um, Elias' performance sends into Bedlam. Obviously, you had the New Day come out, and you had Rusev Day, and then you had No Way Jose, and you had Bobby Roode. Obviously, Bobby Roode took Elias out, which is to continue their feud on Raw. Um, but part of, I suppose that's funny. Nothing special. Um, Daniel Bryan for Spiss Cats again. An okay match, nothing to it. I didn't really enjoy it to be honest. It was about what a five minute match. Obviously, Big Cats attacked Daniel Bryan after the match, but um, I'm surprised Daniel Bryan won. I wanted him to win. I'm glad he won, but I thought Big Cass might have won to be honest. Just something in me thought Big Cass was going to take the win, but he didn't. So, you know. I'm happy he didn't, obviously, because I wanted Daniel Bryan to win. But apart from that, it was an okay match. Nothing special, nothing amazing. Barely counted as a match. Most of these matches on the pay through barely counted as pay through match worthy, to be honest, in my opinion. Um... Carmella versus Charlotte Flair. This was pretty boring, I have to say, to be honest, because... It was mostly Carmella just holding Charlotte Flair on the floor, doing holds, as they say, and it was nothing special. It was boring. Absolutely boring. Um, am I surprised Carmella won? No. Because, let's face it, she's only won, just won the belt, so of course she's going to win. So, of course, they're going to let her, you know, keep the belt for a while, because they've been pushing for her as the Money in Bank 
person for a while. I've been teasing it for a while. She's going to cash in. <laughs> Pardon me. But it's just an absolute rubbish of a match. AJ Stars for Shane Nakamura. It was a decent match. Um, am I surprised AJ won? Yes, because I thought Shane Nakamura would win. Am I happy with the ending now? Because the ending was absolutely rubbish. It was just a double count out. Obviously, I know it extends the rivalry to another match, but it just made it rubbish, in my opinion. Um, so, you know. It was an okay, a decent match. Nothing special, let's put it that way. I thought the build-up was quite slow. I want nothing special to it. Decent match at best. Um, tag team ball show with Bobby Ash for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Again, it was obvious, not a game, so I didn't think AJ would win. But I'm glad he won, obviously. Um, shit, so he's got a bit boring, in my opinion. Um, Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley first. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman won. Again, not a surprise, because Bobby Lashley's only just come back. Braun Strowman's obviously going to be continue to be pushed as a beast no matter what. Um, so I'm not surprised they won. It's a shame it's at the expense of Kevin Owens and Sami Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn because Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are both amazing talents and should be pushed. Hopefully after this they will be. But uh, it wasn't nothing special on match. Just basically Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman messing about and toying about. And then Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn turning on each other. So, you know, it was a decent-ish. It was, an, it was now I'm going to be truthful. It was rubbish. It was just Braun and Bobby messing about. So, you know, a rubbish match. <laughs> Nothing much to it. Not even worth a pay for you, to be honest. Um, and on to the main event. Roman Reigns for Samoa Mark Joe. My God. I have no... I do not know what I was thinking with this pay per view. Because Samoa and Joe came out all guns firing and took out Roman, put him through the table, whatever, and then you thought it was going to have a nice, good match. But most of the time, it was Samoa and Joe put in... Roman in the hole saying, I own you and I told you a failure, stuff like that. It nearly sent me to sleep, which surprised me because Simone and Joe, I normally like his matches. Roman Reigns, I don't like those people in that. I never liked Roman Reigns. But my God, this was not pay-per-view worthy at all. It nearly sent me to sleep, I'm not even joking. And I'm surprised Simone and Joe won as well because I'll see Roman Reigns being losing lose lately. So I thought he wouldn't win, to be honest, but he did, so... Happy Days. Uh, Samoa and Joe won Happy Days, which I don't think he would, because like I said, Roman Reigns lost those matches, I thought he might have let him have this one, but hey-ho, maybe it was for a bigger art, storyline art, I don't know. But it was an absolute rubbish of a match. Basically, what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is this pay-per-view is not worth watching, not worth buying, don't bother with it, it's just basic matches, nothing special to any of them. One or two decent-ish ones, or okay-ish ones, and then apart from that, the rest were rubbish like i said not any shape form pay for you worthy so um, i hope you enjoyed this review of backlash i will be back next week like i said i don't know when because i'm doing dealing with personal issues at the moment um so i'll see you hopefully next week at some point hope you enjoy this review and i'll see you later inspiration out